<clears throat> okay, um, my name's Joshua, as you all know, and uh, I'm from the Poor Rhythm chapter. Uh, for those of you all who know me, a um, little over a month back, my dad passed. Um, it was, sorry, it was uh, really, really difficult. Um, I think what I'm sharing on is on redemptive suffering. Uh, like, before my dad passed, like, my dad had absolutely no sickness. We were, like, really blessed as a family. Like, we had everything coming to us. Like, uh, how Tito said, like, when you are blessed and when you are, like, really happy, you have to sacrifice something. And I did not, I did not totally get that concept. Although, yes, I was sacrificing, but I did not totally get that concept. Um, everything was going good. My dad was in the best of health possible. And, like, all of a sudden, within three days, he was gone. Uh, my life was shattered uh, completely um, because my brother and my sister don't live in India, they live abroad and uh, it was just going to be me and my mom. So like my life was totally gone for a toss. But in that pain, in that suffering, I, yes, I did question God and I did go away from him. I stopped praying, I stopped going to church, I said like, I can't believe this happened because dad and mom were so active in the community and they were like helping so much and like why did this happen to me? Um, I thought that maybe he was taken away to save someone, maybe someone whom he was praying for or someone whom um, he wanted to save so God took him for a reason, that's what I thought. What I didn't realize was that dad was not taken away just for someone else but to change my life and I didn't realize that until two weeks after my dad passed. Um, after two weeks after my dad passed, like I offered, I did, I did just say it like once or twice that God, if it's of any worth, the suffering that I'm going through, I want to offer it up for my family and for all my um, friends, my relations, whatever. Two weeks after my dad passed, like I was going through a really terrible time, all the friends in my life were taken away from me. And I was like, why? Why God? Like, I'm already going through so much. Why? ruin me? Why, why smash me so much? And I didn't know what to do. I was totally, totally panicking. Like I contacted Errolson and I was like telling him like, why is this happening to me right now? Like when I'm going through such difficult time, why is more suffering coming on me? Um, he said, we do not know God's plans and you just have to keep praying. And I couldn't, I just couldn't pray at all. Um, I remember very clearly it was a uh, good Friday and it was one of the worst days of my life. Like emotionally, I was gone for a toss completely. And, but that's the day, like, I told, I, I mentioned it to him that, Edelson, that I'm going through hell. Like, I, I don't know if I can pull out through this. And that's the time he said that, think of Jesus' suffering. It didn't strike me at that time. And I said that, yeah, Jesus suffered a lot. But later on in the day, it struck me that, how much grace, how much, how much beauty it is for us to, I know, to suffer just a small, tiny drop of what Jesus actually suffered. Isn't that so much joy? Isn't that so much, so, like, isn't it so, aren't we so privileged to go through that? That's the time I got down on my knees and I prayed. It was around quarter to one, I remember very clearly. I got down on my knees and I prayed. I think the first time in my entire life, I used to pray every day. Um, at least five times a day I used to pray but I think that was the actual time I actually prayed I actually literally prayed to God and I don't know what to say or how to say it but the joy was immense it was immense something that I could never ever explain or I could never ever tell like that is something each one of us has to experience that joy I do know it's through sacrifice and through suffering that one really, really gets close to God. But the beauty that we get so close to God in our suffering is just amazing. Um, it was after Good Friday that each and every single day, like I never used to pray in the mornings. I used to always come home and pray on my bike. I used to pray, I used to pray even at work. I used to go to bless. But I never used to get up in the morning and pray. Ever since Good Friday, I felt that joy. Since that day, I've been praying every single day in the morning. I cannot cannot go ahead with my day without praying in the morning. I'm so anxious, I'm so worried in the morning when I get up. The moment I pray, I get that joy. And 
I think the most important thing is that suffering is a must for change. Like, if there's any area in your lives which y'all are suffering, y'all are struggling with, y'all can never ever change that area without suffering.